Hey guys, welcome back to another video with HP Tuners. If you're new to the channel, my name is Eddie and I'm the Director of Marketing. I'm excited to dive into VCM Suite today because it's a revolutionary piece of software for both enthusiasts and professional tuners. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we post educational and product videos like this one. So today, we're answering some of the most asked questions about VCM Suite. At a high level, VCM Suite is our free to download tuning and diagnostic software made up of two critical components, VCM Editor and VCM Scanner. Each piece of software has its own specific purpose, but they are both extremely powerful tools when used together in the diagnostic and tuning process. First, let's cover the basics of each piece of software. Most of the work of tuning a vehicle is actually spent on the diagnostic side. VCM Scanner is your data logging, scanning, and diagnostic software used to view, chart, and log critical data about your vehicle's health in real time. You can also find special functions like gear and tire wizard that lets you change your gear ratio and tire size without flashing to the vehicle. Using your HP Tuner's interface and VCM scanner, you can view and clear a collection of different DTCs, or diagnostic trouble codes, from body codes to module codes and more. There are some vehicles that are not supported with this feature, but most modern OBD2 vehicles are. At this point, I want to share a personal story that we experienced involving using VCM Scanner in the real world. So last year, the HP Tuners team was on Hot Rod Power Tour, and we had a Hellcat Swap Jeep Wrangler on it. And obviously, with a Hellcat Supercharged V8, that Jeep Wrangler is not going to get the best fuel economy. So one day in the morning, we're leaving one of the hotels, and the Jeep Wrangler starts up, and as soon as it starts pulling out of the parking spot, it just kind of dies. So our first assumption was, oh, it probably ran out of gas, but then we checked the fuel level and that was fine. We made a lot of jokes about Chris, the driver of the vehicle, for forgetting to fill up the Hellcat Jeep, but that wasn't the problem. So we were in the middle of nowhere America, the Jeep is not wanting to run, what do we do? Luckily, we all had an MPVI 2 Plus VCM scanner, so we plugged into the vehicle's onboard OBD2 port, Pulled up VCM scanner and did a data log. And we're looking at a bunch of different parameters, one of which was fuel pressure. And we noticed some weird data there, weird spikes, and it dropped off. And the next concern was, oh no, hopefully the fuel pump isn't bad because that would be a lot more challenging to replace in the middle of nowhere America. But after a little bit more research and digging around, we ended up figuring out it was a relay that had failed. So went to a local auto parts store, found the correct relay, replaced it, and the Hellcat Jeep continued on the rest of Power Tour without a problem. So that was a real world example where using VCM scanner and our interface, we were able to diagnose a problem in the field, data log it, do these things and fix it, and continue driving. This story is a great example of how having an HP Tuner's interface along with VCM scanner can really help you out in the real world in your vehicle. Going back to talking about the functions of VCM scanner, VCM scanner also has standalone data logging capabilities with Pro Feature Set. This lets you log data directly to your MPVI3's internal storage without being tethered to a laptop. This makes it easier than ever to perform data logs on the go with the press of a button or a preset start or stop trigger. We have a detailed PDF explaining how to start using this function in the description below if you're interested. After you've run through a diagnostic test with VCM Scanner, you can start reading, editing, and writing your calibration using VCM Editor. In the editor, you can adjust a multitude of complex parameters like torque strategies, spark tables, fueling, RPM limits, fan activations, and more. With faster read and write times and a customizable interface, VCM Editor is the most comprehensive parameter editor out there. A lot of questions we get about VCM Suite fall under one bigger question of how do you get started with HP tuners? In a nutshell, you will need an MPVI3 interface, universal credits, VCM Suite software, and any other hardware like an upgraded ECU or PCM for some select GM and Dodge Chrysler Jeep vehicles, or possibly an adapter cable if you are tuning a supported power sports vehicle. Credits are the currency used to license your vehicle with your MPVI3 interface so you can make calibrations using VCM Suite. And luckily for you, we have another video that breaks down everything you need to know about credits and licenses. We'll link it up here for you to watch after this video. You also need to add your interface to your account on hptuners.com. 
As I mentioned before, you might also need an upgraded ECM or PCM if you own a newer GM or Dodge vehicle. We also have another video breaking down our different ECM or PCM services that are linked in the description below. If you're tuning your power sports vehicle, then you'll need our adapter cable in order to connect that with your MPV i3 to your off-road vehicle's control module and VCM suite. Once you've secured all of the above, you will also obviously need a modern functional computer with Windows 7 or newer software to download VCM suite. We have more details on the specific hardware requirements for a laptop on the website. Another common question we get is how do you download our software? To download VCM suite, head to the website, go to the downloads page located in the middle of the menu bar and draw your attention to the first two download options on the screen. Our VCM suite is available for download in two versions, the latest stable version and the latest beta version. The beta version will have support for the newest year make model vehicles, any new support that we released within the last year will need the beta version. Please be aware that bugs may exist due to the nature of any beta software, but it's also updated multiple times a day. You can always reach out to our awesome support team if you run into any troubles. We recommend downloading both versions first and then choosing which version you want to use depending on your tuning situation. To download your chosen VCM suite version, simply click the image and it would automatically start the download. If you download both, make sure you pay attention to which version you downloaded. You'll also need to download the latest MPVI drivers. These drivers allow the VCM software to recognize your interface. This is a very important step that a lot of people miss, so don't make the same mistake. So how do you set up HP Tuner software for the first time? Before launching VCM Suite for the first time, make sure you have a good internet connection. This may sound very obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people contact us with an issue when it was simply a bad internet connection or no internet connection at all. After launching the software, you'll be asked to select basic or advanced. If you're an experienced tuner or know what you're doing, we recommend selecting advanced. The basic option leaves out some important functions for experienced tuners and enthusiasts. Then select your preferred measurement system, whether that's imperial or metric. If you need to resync your MPVI device with credits, this is when you do that. Once you're connected to your vehicle, you should always scan the vehicle first with VCM scanner. Scanning the vehicle first will allow you to see if there are any trouble codes. If you go right to reading the vehicle in VCM editor, it will actually erase all of your trouble codes, which you don't necessarily want to happen. After scanning the vehicle, you can go to the read vehicle in VCM editor, save that initial read file as read file or whatever you normally do for a stock file. Then you can start making your calibrations in VCM editor. We recommend saving your tune files frequently, so you always have a file to go back to if you mess something up. Save your stock file in multiple places or in the cloud so you don't lose it either. On the same topic, we also get a lot of questions regarding our tune repository. HP Tuners' tune repository is where you can find stock read files from many different vehicles. Some files may be from vehicles with slight modifications, but most of them are stock. This is free to you at your disposal with your MPVI interface. However, understand that HP Tuners is not responsible for the effects of any tunes in the tune repository. And remember, your MPVI interface must be registered under your account to access tune repository. The next question, how do you update HP Tuners software? When a software update is available, you can download it two ways, through the VCM editor or scanner, or by downloading the updated version on our website. To update in VCM scanner or editor, go to help, about, download, if an update is available. If you download it in the scanner, it will also apply to the entire VCM suite, same thing with editor. When you update software, make sure you have everything else unplugged from your laptop, including your MPVI 2 Plus or 3 to the vehicle. You can also update the firmware of your MPVI interface through the VCM scanner or editor. Here are the two ways you can update firmware. Connect your interface to your PC. In the editor or scanner, go to Help, Resync Interface, and it will update the firmware. You can also update the firmware by gathering an info log. We go through this process in our Support Basics video. There are countless functions and possibilities with our VCM Suite software. It's made for both professional tuners and your average enthusiast. Not only is it easy to navigate and offers the most control and flexibility of any software out there, but it's also cost effective thanks to our credit-based licensing system. Our engineering team is constantly developing the software and adding new features based on feedback from real-world tuners who are using it every day. 
There was way more than we could dive into, so keep an eye out for additional videos about our VCM scanner and VCM editor coming soon. If you have more questions about VCM Suite, definitely comment down below and we'll make sure to answer them. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and check out all the resources we discuss. They will be in the description below. We'll see you guys in the next video.